Happy August 31st, everyone. I'm Liam, and we are playing the 2024 quest calendar, The Leaf Riders of Renwood. Yesterday, Ivy delivered the spirit of the Tree of Seasons and all of the elements of life to the Queen and the Royal Council in Crownspire. We regaled the court with tales of our adventures and were rewarded with 15 amber. And that is where we left things, so let's see what adventure is on the calendar for us today. As a token of gratitude and at the expense of the royal family, you were treated to a luxurious stay at the treetop nests and ex an exquisite resort uh, catering to esteemed visitors and dignitaries. Take a rest. Excellent. I don't see any hidden icons on this page. We are full health and <laughs> we have no surges to restore. Are any of our party members even uh, wounded? I don't think they are. I think we just used a campfire, so we're good, but um, kind of nice to be treated well. <laughs> um, okay, well... <laughs> Uh, we can do the Sunday Lottery. This is Saturday and Sunday. So um, before we turn in for the night, we visit the local Sunday Lottery office. We roll the dice, and I think we won some amber. There's the rules. I think that's th that might be three amber. They're in the front of the book, and which you think would be easy to find. It should be near the beginning. Um, here we go. We rolled a five, we gained three amber. Outstanding. That puts us up to 38. And... Okay. I think we tried the uh, Mythic Emotional Quest earlier in the week. I think my plan going forward is here on, on Saturdays or Sundays. We'll, uh, we'll advance that. We'll take a look at stuff that happened over the week. And... Try to imagine something that connects to Ivy's past there and see if she progresses on her emotional journey. So, um, I've written two, uh, two endings here. And we'll roll to see which one she gets. And uh, maybe I'll post the other one in the comments so you can see what I was thinking. Whether she, she succeeds here or fails. So, how do we do this? We need to... Basically, the way this works, we remember... Um, can you guys see this? This is the Mythic Emotional Quest rules. We, um, some point here, every week, we'll have a fulfillment opportunity. A moment that reminds Ivy of her emotional issue, making her re-experience it to some degree. And then there's an epiphany, and that's either, uh, you either she either learns from the opportunity uh, and gains insight into her issue, um, or doesn't, and she could actually, um, let's see, no chain, your character is troubled or uh, very troubled by this connection. So I think what's happening here, I looked over the events of the week, and I, I think just now that she finally gets a chance to relax here in the inn, um, memories come back. So we need to do our role and see if this epiphany is successful. This is the one-page mythic. Uh, this is pretty cheap, I think, on Drive Through RPG. And this is this is that whole text I showed you before, uh, simplified and condensed into one sheet. Um, there is a little bit of expl explanation, but what we need here is the chart. So we're gonna roll. Um, we are rolling. Oh, what do we say? I think it's likely or very likely. Let's go back here. Here's the rules. Uh, relevance of the fulfillment opportunity. The fulfillment opportunity touched on your character's issue. The fulfillment opportunity mirrored your character's issue. Uh, what I have in mind for what's going to happen here, I don't think it's quite, it's not a mirror. It just touches pretty strongly on it, but we'll go with likely. This is a likely likely to be a fulfilling experience why are you there we go so we're going to use this likely row and we'll roll our 10 we'll roll our d100 if i can find them here they are and we get a 22 so that is a yes um 
uh, yeah, she does grow from this. It's a positive experience, so here we go. This is what I imagine uh, happens. She's made it, what's this place called? Uh, treetops, treetop nests. Returns from the Sunday lottery office and tries to relax. And now for the first time in several months, Ivy has a moment to actually relax. And she lies there replaying especially the last few days in her mind, returning to Crown Spire, delivering the elements of life, seeing the queen and most of the court so attentive to her stories. Her body relaxes, muscles she hadn't paid attention to in a long time begin to complain. But she is content and at peace for a moment. She has done well, but things begin to bubble up. Mm, those guards at the gate were awfully rude, but they didn't know who she was and what she was carrying. She shrugs that off and enjoys her memories of the queen's attention to her tales of adventure and daring do. Uh, the queen was clearly impressed in that regal way that nobles behave. Ivy smiles to herself. Everyone was impressed. Except, except Captain Clawthorne and Master Laurel. They seemed impatient. Of course they were, she tells herself. There's work still to do and no guarantee, she supposes, that what they plan will even work. And then the doubts begin to creep in. Has she done enough? Did she get back in time? They were right to want to get on with things. The queen and her court wasted precious time on, on what? On Ivy. She sits up and her body and mind are just as tense again as they have been since the start of all this. Before that even, for as long as she can remember. No, there was a time before this when she was happy when her sister was happy before the accident. Ivy stands up. She was foolish to indulge the court, but then, but then she remembers the queen's face, how she looked Ivy in the eye and never broke her gaze through all of Ivy's stories. And she hears the queen say again the words, well done. Then Ivy's mother's face comes to mind, and the day her mother stopped looking her in the eye, the pain of that memory pulls at Ivy like an anchor. But beside that memory now is another. Well done, the queen said. Ivy lies back on the bed and drifts off to sleep with the queen's kind eyes locked on hers. And that, my friends, is August 31st and September 1st. So we shall say goodbye for now and visit Ivy and friends again on Monday. I hope you'll join us. Thanks for watching.